I will open these two security cameras from Samsung and fix the problem they have in it. I will remove the screw from the top of the camera. This is its model number. I will further disassemble it. The on and off locks are made here. To lock and unlock the front body of this camera. I will rotate the camera from its front body. I will push forward gently. And see the cover has been separated from the lens of the camera. The lock is present here as well, but first, I will have to open this screw. To open this screw, I will use a special screw opener from my special screwdriver set. I will use a PH001.5 m Phillips head screwdriver. I will secure the screw. Now, I will rotate the body of the surveillance camera. This Samsung security camera has an IP rating of IP66. The body has been removed. The silica gel has been put inside the camera to get rid of moisture inside the camera. Now we are accessible to its circuit board. The capacitor over here seems to be bulged up. The power supply for this security camera is installed externally. I will further open the body of this camera to get access to the rest of its electronic parts. The lock here at the bottom is holding the upper body of the camera, and also from the top. The one lock is this and the other is here. First, I will detach the bottom locks. I will slightly press this lock backward. So it is done from here. I will do the same with the upper locks. I am holding the body in such a way that the lock I already pushed won't go back. I have pressed this first lock on the top. I will now push this last lock. It is done. And the circuit board has been separated. I will push these locks now to make the circuit board out. The circuit board is out now. Let's see the circuit board from the backside. The board is in really bad condition from the backside. The IC is damaged here. I will now separate the connector from this circuit board. I will separate this second connector from the circuit board. The number of this IC is visible. Its number is SC4524C. This IC is a step down switching regulator. I have replaced this IC with a new one, and now it looks something like this. I will change this capacitor which is blown up. I will reassemble the camera and test it. As you saw, I have passed the electricity through the camera. I will turn the camera on. So the camera has been turned on. And see on the TV screen. I am waving my hand to the camera. 
It is working now. Now I am moving the security camera around. This is my son Daniel, who is filming my video. And this is me. The camera has been fixed. This camera has been repaired. I will put it on the side. Now I will check this second security camera. I will remove its body and fast forward. The same capacitor has been blown in this circuit board too. I will remove the circuit board from the body and check whether something bad on the back side of the circuit board. The same IC is damaged on this circuit board, other than this I can see a problem on this part of the circuit board. The components seem to be burned. So let's start fixing it. The second camera is also ready now. I am waving my hand, and you can see it on the TV screen. Click on the left or right thumbnail to watch our next videos. And subscribe. Thank you.